Welcome to another behind the scenes for Oncoming Storm Studio. Okay. Getting lots of questions on what I've been up to and bear with me. There we go. Alright, you're wondering what all these boxes, shoe boxes are for. These are boxes of ideas. Alright, on my writing, screenplay writings, I've been, you know, teaching myself and learning how to be a screenplay writer and story writer for the past five, four years. Anyways, almost as long as I've been, you know, on YouTube and such and making videos. So anyways, I get ideas for stories, characters, I write it down. I do this at my day job. I haven't done it lately because I'm on a new job, an area leader job, and I'm but you know, too busy focusing on learning and all that and so anyways as you can see all sorts of good shit. Even got some, you know, design ideas for logos and such for filmmaking. All right. When I get an idea, I write it on a piece of paper, you know. And then it goes in the shoebox. And then when I have time, I, f I use... Uh, Either Final Draft, which is a script screenplay, it's a, it's a pro computer program used to, to write, and I also use another one. It's called uh, Celtex. That's an online cloud-based one. I use that a lot too for my screenplay writing. So where I'm at on the screenplay writings is this: I've got th three scripts: a feature, a short, and a TV pilot. Got them all entered in the contest. Page awards and script pipeline. Yeah. And it wasn't cheap. The entrance fees were, well, let's just say total all together, I probably got about five, six hundred bucks in entrance fees. But I will get valuable feedback from the judges. And more than that, some of the judges are Disney Studio execs. So, if I don't win, I'll be disappointed because the grand prize is 25000 for two of the categories. I think the short screenplay contest is like a $1,000 grand prize, maybe 5000 But the other two are 25000 So, that's where I'm at. Now, I want to cover uh, another publication, a friend of mine who's a cinematographer. He, uh, he lives out in Los Angeles and he, you know, he writes too. And he recently so sold a screenplay to Disney for a million dollars. And after they take out taxes, it was like 759000 So. And uh, I came across this website that's called Ink Tip, and it has a printed publication of fifteen thousand for industry executives and directors and producers. And I've heard online that if you can write all the genres, you know, action, adventure, comedy, horror, drama, and it goes in that pub publication, and they're segregated the the different genres. And if your name keeps popping up in every genre, and there's a log line, and the log line is a, a, a is a sentence or two condensed form of your story, and they read that in the publication, and it's like, wow, that's a kick-ass log line, and it's called a log line, and that, wow, that's kick-ass, and then you list, you have to list your screenplay with ink tip. And then they go and they check out your script and then they read it and it's like, hey, this ain't bad. 
And then, you know, basically, you know, it's, it's ink tip is for, you know, getting noticed and selling your scripts. So, that's where I'm at now. Would like to sell, you know, win the grand prize, you know, that way I can say, I'm an award winning writer. But, I'll also settle for selling a screenplay on ink tip to, you know, that way I can get the fuck out of the factory. So, that is where I am at. And I'm working on another screen. I just finished up my TV pilot, Secret Agents of Illuminati, which is a spoof comedy. Um, the other two scripts was Martian Twilight and The Nature of Time, which is a fantasy action adventure. That was my first feature. Finished. Not my first story. Um, the Green Fairy is a short, short script. And that's entered in the contest as well. The next contest coming up... The, June 29th is the final deadline, and I'm entering my other horror. I got a horror one, which is Team Slash. Well, not really Slasher, but it's Team Blood, you know, Blood and Gore kind of thing. It's called Solace. That will be entered in, in a horror category screenplay contest by June 29th. June 22nd is the deadline, final deadline, to get my log lines entered or listed on ink tip for the publication now this Friday May 18th is the deadline for the screenplays so I don't think I'm going to make the deadline for the for the fourth script but I will get the three scripts the short the feature and the TV pot and those go for three months X amount of dollars for three months I think it was like a hundred fifty dollars hundred forty dollars for three months for three scripts anyways I will get the uh, I think you're allowed to list scripts monthly so I will get the three listed if I don't get the fourth one shortly thereafter in June I'll get it listed in the next quarterly publication which would be three months from June 22nd so Looking at it around September, October, I would definitely have all four in there, and I, and and they say you know when you list it with them, don't just do you know once and then let run for three months and it's like oh you didn't sell you didn't you know because in the industry when someone sees your screenplay and say hey you know and then they it's not what they're looking for they pass it over and go to you know what they're looking for. And they, they always, this is what they do. They go by what the market dictates. Yes, there's a market for making movies and, and writing and selling scripts. So, they might, you know, come back six months and say, all right, I'm looking for something. And it's like, say you got a comedy or an action adventure, and they weren't looking for it the last, the last time they came by. And then the next time they come by, they say, oh, Oh, I remember this one. I read it three months ago. I didn't like it. I didn't, wasn't what I was looking. Now I am. So, yeah. So, you got to let it run. So, that's what I'm, where I'm at. I'm listing screenplays as I finish them on Ink Tip and entering the contest as they come up. And uh, I think there's another contest later in the year. I'll be entering that one as well. So, this is where I'm at for behind the scenes. I'm not giving up on independent filmmaking. I just I'm f more time on my writing and getting that done because that writing it costs nothing. It practically costs nothing to write except time and creativity and you know devoting to that. On the filmmaking side for my oncoming storm studio. I have a few other film projects. I hope this summer I will be able to get to shoot. They're just skits and sketches. Maybe a short. But, uh, yeah. That's where I'm at. So, I know it's kind of confusing the way I've laid this out for you, but I hope it's, you know, makes sense. So, yeah. Stay tuned. I'll keep posting these behind the scenes or vlogs, whatever you want to call them, up here to let everyone know. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Have a good night.